Hi everybody, good morning from uh, Oluwalu, Maui, island of Hawaii. It's beautiful here. This is one of my favorite places to uh, sail, fish, snorkel, everything. Here in Oluwalu, there's an amazing coral head reef where the coral heads can be up to 30 feet thick. Just about every species you'll find in Hawaii, you'll find right here in Oluwalu, and it's just a great place to visit. There's one particular fish that uh, I knew were prevalent here called the opelu. I call it the ever elusive opelu because for years of fishing these waters right here, I couldn't catch them. And I knew they were the key to catching bigger fish because let me tell you, every single ono, mahi mahi, or wahoo I ever caught, almost same as wahoo, had an opelu in its stomach. Now opelu is the uh, Hawaiian version of a mackerel here that we have. And um, it's delicious for eating. Also, it's great for bait because if you put a live opelu on the line and you go to 200 feet of water and you put it in the water, you're gonna hook up on something nice. Um, let's show you what I got. This was last night. I caught these using a damashi rig. A damashi rig is a pre-existing little line with six different hooks on it, and it has like glow-in-the-dark um, beads, and it has a bunch of different uh, like reflective feather type things. And with that, you catch a lot of species that fish at night. And I don't know if you can tell, their eyes are really big, their pupils are big. So they're kind of a nocturnal species. They have really good night vision. Although they are known to be out in the daytime too as well. Nighttime is a, a good way to catch these using the Opelu rigs. Or excuse me, the Adamashi rigs. And uh, let's show you a little bit close up of one of these buggers. The uh, membrane around their lips is really thin so you got to be careful because you don't want to uh, tug too hard when you hook up on them and you don't want to leave the damashi in the water too long you can literally just rip them right off the hooks but I'm looking forward to uh, using some of these for bait and eating some of them as well so the trick that I found into catching them, because I mean, like I said, for years I couldn't catch them, was a dim light in the water. In the past, I had made um, all kinds of different lights to put in the water. I made bright ones using floodlights. I bought those green lights you put in the water. I mean, I, years, probably a dozen different types of lights, and I just couldn't catch them. And then, one day out here on the sailboat, what happened is uh, I didn't have uh, any more bright lights. All I had was a little dim light. And I, well, let me just use that. I got nothing else. And I'll be damned if I didn't start hooking up with uh, the Mampachi, the Opelu, everything else. So the key is you don't want too bright of a light, my experience has been. A nice dim light, equivalent of like 10 or 15 watts, shining down in the water. And uh, that'll bring them near the boat or up from the deck. I actually caught these fish in only 50 feet of water, where generally uh, you'll find a more of a pelagic region type fish. So uh, it goes to show you that they do move around, you know. You can catch them in shallow as well as in deeper regions. Um, again, the key was a dim light with the Damashi rig. And uh, a lot of times when you're fishing with the Damashi rigs, you'll try to leave the line in the water and uh, hook up multiple fish on it. I found with the Apelu, once you get that tugging in the line, just bring it up and don't bring it up too fast because you'll rip them right off the line. But if I leave it in the water and try to get a few more on, I tend to lose them. So uh, once I feel that tug in the line, I bring them up. Now their meat is a little bit different. I've got one opened up here and it already looks kind of uh, white inside, but actually it has a reddish tint, almost like a tuna when you first open it up. But uh, interesting though, as you bleed it out, it kind of gets whiter as well. So it might be a good fish to bleed, I don't know, before you eat it, but. Anyway, after years of trying to catch these buggers and not being able to, I thought I'd share with you guys of uh, what I've learned that works.
But uh, you know what's really nice? Being right here. I mean, come on. <laughs> anyway, living the dream here in uh, Maui on the sailing vessel sunspot. Take care, guys. Aloha.